Todd here, we are studying 10th grade in the Yambu International School. Now this is a short section about right triangles trigonometry. So right triangle trigonometry is the classic development of trigonometry and it's based on an idea of what we take uh, of a right degree, right? Such as 90 degree, okay, or pi over 2 radians. Now let's go ahead and understand what is actually a right triangle, okay? Before we move on. Because I want to make every little concepts clear to you guys so as we move on you you won't have any problem understanding the hard concept okay so this over here is a right triangle this is called the theta now this line is opposite of theta this line is always the hypotenuse this is the adjacent side according to the theta now remember as the theta moves from here to here the opposite would be here the adjacent would be here hypotenuse will be the same thing okay so let's go ahead and understand the ratios we will talk about we'll talk about sine cosine tangent cotangent secant cosecant okay to memorize this I have made, uh, made it easier found a pattern in them is that sine always varies with cosecant okay you'll see why cosine varies with secant Okay, oops, let me just draw that again, my bad. Okay, tangent, where is with cotangent? Okay, now let's go ahead and understand the ratios. The ratios are basically simple. Let me just scoot this over. Uh, okay. So, sine of theta would be equal to opposite over hypotenuse so opposite side over hypotenuse okay that's the first ratio second ratio is co cosine theta is equal to the adjacent side adj over hypotenuse third would be um, Third would be tangent, which is basically opposite over adjacent. Now, look, now till here, we understand this much. Now, how does this pattern work? Now, if you go to cotangent, cotangent, cotangent theta, would basically equals the reverse of this, which is basically adjacent over opposite so you see it's varies with this one same goes with same goes with secant secant theta varies with cosine and cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so it's hypotenuse over adjacent now we can probably guess the next one which is cosecant which varies with sine, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, flip it around, hypotenuse over opposite. Okay, so these are the ratios that we'll talk, we talked about here. Now, let's go and understand and understand the Pythagorean theorem, okay, and in, in the right triangle trigonometry. So this is just, just the thing that we'll learn um, based on only the right triangle and this ratios only work in right triangle so if you don't have a right triangle do not use them because most probably you're going to get your answer wrong okay so let's go ahead and let me go ahead and erase this now let's go ahead and talk about the Pythagorean theorem now Pythagorean theorem basically goes like this if you have a right triangle, right triangle, 
and it's given that this side is 4 and this side is 3, how do you find the hypotenuse, right? So there's a formula of Pythagorean theorem, basically says c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, okay? c is the longest side, whoops, c is the longest side, a is this, b is this, or b could be this, a could be this. Either way, you're adding them, so it doesn't really matter. So c squared, we don't know. a squared is, let's put 4 squared, plus b is 3. c squared would be 16 plus 9, which makes it 25. c squared is equal to 25. Okay, now radical c squared is equal to radical 25 to find the value of square cancels out with c is equal to 5. So we can know, we found out the length of hypotenuse that equals to be 5. Okay, now let's go ahead and use the ratios on this right triangle to, to uh, make our understanding skills more clear. Okay, so what about, let's start off with the easiest ones. The sine ratio, okay, sine ratio, sine theta, which is this one, let's pick this over here, sine theta is equal to what? Well, sine theta is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse, 4 over 5, boom, done. Then the next one is cosine is equal to adjacent which is 3 over 5 done next one tangent theta is equal to uh, opposite over adjacent which is 4 over 3 done now after you find this there is nothing really hard all you need to remember all you need to know is the pattern which corresponds with this one well the next one is cotangent Flip this around, 3 over 4. Don't even need to look at the triangle. The next one is secant. 3 over 5, flip it, 5 over 3. The next one is cosecant. Is equal to 4 or 5, flip it around, 5 or 4. Boom, cool. you're done. You see, it's not really hard because all you need to do is understand this proportion, how this work. Well, sine corresponds to cosine, uh, cosine corresponds to secant, tangent corresponds with cotangent. Now, up till now, in geometry maybe, you guys have learned it till uh, sine, cosine, and tangent to about right angle trigonometry. It was just introduction, but in, uh, in uh, Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus, we'll be using three extra ratios which is known as cotangent, secant, cosecant, okay? And I introduce you um, to this, the ratios of this three and this three early based on the ratios of them and of a right triangle, okay? But there's a warning to it. You cannot use this ratio if, if you have, uh, unless you have a right triangle, okay? So now let's go ahead and talk about the ratios from perspective of an angle. Okay, I'm going to erase this because we know this and erase this. Try to solve it without looking at it. Okay, so let's say you have a triangle, right? Triangle of 45 degree. 45 degree. Yeah. 2, 1, 1. Okay, so what is sine of 45? You don't need to use the calculator because sine of 45 is basically what? Okay, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over radical 2. Boom, done. Just saying, instead of a theta, you have sine of 45 to specify 
to specify which angle it is, okay? Now you can take this angle with the same ratio, okay? It doesn't really matter because both are the same. It's, um, both have the same angle measure. So both should have the same angle size as well. Cosine of 45 is equal to what? Well, cosine is adjacent. Adjacent is 1. 1 over 2. Tangent of 45 is equal to 1 over 1. Basically, goes out as 1. Okay, and you can check. Next thing, cotangent 45. Reversal of this 1 over 1, still 1. Nothing big. Then a secant of 45 would equal to radical 2 because you have 1 over 2 and you flip it around radical 2 over 1, just radical 2. The next thing, cosecant of 45 degree should be equal to radical 2 as well. Okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a short video on the basics of uh, right angle trigonometry and we talked about the ratios and proportions. So, what I want you guys to do is, there's a Facebook page down below in the description. Click on that page, go ahead and click like. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like, comment and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you for watching this video. Peace out, guys.